Hi everyone, so this is going to be a quick review and I just wanted to start off by saying I'm actually filming on my phone because I really have to go somewhere, but um, I'm kind of testing out the quality too, so I hope you guys enjoy and I'm actually uploading this directly to YouTube without editing, so I'm kind of scared because I do kind of ramble a lot, so anyways, this is going to be a review for two people. The first review is for the Cocoa Chocolate and this is the first creation that she sent me. I really like the gold clay that you used and it's very nicely textured and the cupcake base is also very neatly made with a mold. So here's what it looks like and I really like how you did the drizzle on top. It's kind of like a zigzag shape and the glaze is kind of sticky. Next time just remember to make sure that the glaze dries completely and you can leave it overnight before sending it out in the package just so nothing gets stuck to it and it doesn't remain sticky. So that's that. And then the next thing that she sent me was this waffle charm and it's really nicely made and she did a great job texturing. So here's what it looks like and here's the front. So there's the maple syrup and the butter, and I love this charm. I think this would be super cute as a magnet. Then she sent me this Daisy Duck Donut. At least I think it's a Daisy Duck Donut. I don't know, but this is from a Rement, and this is what it looks like. I love the drizzle that you used, and I really like the bow. So a suggestion could be to texture the donut and also make little indents on the bow because bows aren't always perfect. They do have like indents and wrinkles. So you could do that easily with a needle tool or a blade. And then she sent me this Mamagoma tissue box charm. This is what it looks like and I really like how you did this. I love the translucent clay that you used. Just make sure to watch out when you're working with white clay. Dust particles do tend to get stuck to the clay, so just make sure next time to wash your surfaces and clean your hands before switching between different colors of clay. And what you can also do is take sandpaper and sand off the charm after baking. Then she sent this cute little cookie charm, and here's what it looks like. Here's the back, and I love how you also put stuff on the back because a lot of people forget about the backs of their charms, and especially if it's on a keychain, like you will see all 360 degrees. So you want to make sure that every side is textured or um, complete. So here's what it looks like, and I love the little face that you did, and it looks like it kind of smeared a little bit. Next time, just make sure that the face dries before glazing. Then she sent me this little Mamagoma, and this is what it looks like. I love how you drew on the little hair. And then here it is. My only suggestion is to probably be careful when you are working with white clay because there is a lot of dust in this charm. Um, so that's what it looks like. Otherwise, I really like the cute face. Then she sent this cute donut. It looks like this and I think you did a great job. I think these are called crueler donuts but correct me if I'm wrong. I think you did a great job texturing and you did a great job with the indents. Here's what it looks like and I love the colored pink that you used for the bow. Here's what it looks like. Just remember even for the back of your charms make sure that the clay is clean and free of dust particles but otherwise I really like this. And here is a little baguette, and I really like this. I think you did a great job texturing and shading this. Here's the back, and this would make a great miniature or even a great ring. And then she sent me this Rilakkuma melon pan. It looks like this, and I really like the face, and it looks like the nose kind of got smudged a little bit, but that's okay. Here's what it looks like, and I, I think you did a great job texturing and shading, and it, I can tell it's not overdone. Here's what it looks like. And you also didn't forget about the back when you were shading, which is great. And the eye pin, I think it seems to be staying in, so you did a good job on that. And then she sent me this onigiri charm, and it's one of those really triangular shaped and really thick onigiris. I've seen these in the Japanese market, but I've never tried one of these, so here's what it looks like. And I love the little face. I think this would be really cute as a charm. And just make sure, again, um, when you're working with white clay, because white clay is really easily gets stained and stuff, so just make sure you clean that off. And then, lastly, she sent me this little mug, and I love the little cheeks on it. 
It looks really cute, and I think there's, like, English breakfast tea in it. So here's what it looks like, and this is super duper duper cute. So just, again, make sure that the dust particles are um, cleaned off before baking or after. So that's what that looks like. So please check out the Cocoa Chocolates links in the description box below. And then next I got a package from Mary Beth Kahn. So these are the charms that she sent me. So first she sent this Totoro charm, which is super cute. I love the silver clay that you use. Usually I use gray for Totoro charms, but I think it's so cute how you use silver. So all the details were drawn or painted on, and I think you did a great job. Just watch out. If the clay gets really soft, you can see fingerprints, so just watch out next time there's some fingerprints. You can just smooth those out before baking. And I also see that you super glued down the eye pin, which is great because especially for keychains, if they're hung on like a bag or whatever, they tend to get put under a lot of abuse. So um, it's good that you super glued down the eye pin. And then she sent me this macaroon charm. And my phone is like overheating right now. But um, I really like how you textured it. And I think you did a great job with the filling. An excellent job, actually. And here's what it looks like. The face is really cute, and there's fruit cane slices on the sides. And the eyes, I really like how you painted on the eyes. And the pink is actually not showing up that well. It's really, really neon pink, but on here it looks kind of dull. So um, I really like the color that you used. And the eye pin is also staying in very well. I don't think I really have any suggestions for this. I think this is such a cute charm. Then she sent me this super sparkly glazed donut. It looks like this, and here it is. There's glitter on it, and I love how you included the glitter. It's a very tiny charm, but I think it's really cute. And my only suggestion would probably be to poke the hole all the way through. Sorry, I dropped it. But as you can see, there's a larger hole in the front, and then the hole in the back is barely visible. So if you want to make it look like a more realistic donut, then poke the hole all the way through. And then she sent this pizza charm. This is what it looks like. And here it is. So I think it's very realistic and you did a great job with the toppings. Here's the back. And you did a great job shading. So just make sure to get rid of the dust particles. Like I see some dust particles in the back. And um, otherwise I really like this charm you made very clean cuts so it looks like a very nicely cut pizza so thank you so much both of these people please check out their links in the description box and I wanted to update you guys on a review so I have two other um, videos uploading currently they take forever to upload they're taking like two hours to upload each so um, I decided to make this one on my phone so hopefully it would be quicker to upload but anyways I might stop doing reviews for a period of time because they do take off a lot of time on my hands and I have to take a long time editing them and everything um, and I don't really get a chance to make other videos for you guys like craft updates and tutorials and stuff so let me know what you guys think about that I'm probably gonna close my reviews temporarily just so I can have a little break. But anyways, thank you for watching, guys, and um, stay tuned for more other videos. Bye.